Good morning and welcome to the June edition of the Civic Center Scoop. My name is Jess McMullen and we'll be talking about everything that happens down at the Peoria Civic Center coming up in June and a little bit beyond that as well. We are broadcasting live on PeoriaLife.com. Today we're going to talk about an exciting sports banquet that we have coming to the Peoria Civic Center in June. And then we'll also have a complete rundown of all the concerts that are happening. We had some big announcements this week. So we'll talk to Steve Heffler from the box office and get insight of what's happening there. But first coming up, we're going to talk about the Best of Central Illinois Preps Banquet that the Peoria Journal Star is hosting at the Civic Center later in June. With me today is Kirk Wessler, the executive sports editor from the PJ Star, and he's going to give us a little bit more insight. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. And i got to correct you. It's not a banquet. It's a gala. A gala. A gala. But there will be food. There will be food. food. Will there be dancing? There will not. No dancing. Well, yeah, there might, somebody might dance off the stage. Oh, so. okay, okay. But you have a pretty big um, speaker coming. Yeah, Mitchell Trubisky, the quarterback for the Chicago Bears, is coming to be our keynote. And, awesome. and uh, I will be on the stage with him doing a Q&A the same way we did nice. with the first event last year with Peanut Tillman. Nice. Okay, so let's back up. It's Monday, June 25th. Correct. It's a Monday night, so nobody's got plans on a Monday yeah. night. Come on down, right? Monday night is a good good yeah. night for something like this. That's right. It, it really is. Yeah. So, Okay, so what's kind of the, um, what, what do you, besides the big speaker name, what, what's the objective of this yeah, event? The, the real stars of the event are the high school athletes. And the reason for this event is to honor the best of the best of the central Illinois, the area that the Journal Star covers, mm -hmm. uh, which entails more than 60 high schools oh, wow. throughout central Illinois. And we, for almost 30 years now, have named all-star teams and players of the year mm -hmm. in every sport. Yeah. And this was a way of bringing those athletes all together to honor them in one place and to feed them and to bring up and uh, give them actually a physical award for awesome. the players of the year. Uh, and then on top of that, we also name an overall male athlete and female athlete of the year, a coach of the year, and a team of the year. And we also have a couple of other special awards, the uh, Most Courageous Award and the uh, Nick Murphy Humanitarian Service Award, which is named after a uh, former Dunlap baseball player mm -hmm. who uh, put his life on the line and saved the life of a fellow service person in Florida and was killed himself a couple of years ago. Yeah, that's a, that's a sad story. It is a sad story, but it's really cool to see the Murphy family has partnered with us on this and they have a foundation that's raising money to do some wonderful things in, in, in the honor of, of Nick's memory. And this award, his name lives on through that, to other student athletes in the Peoria area who have given themselves sacrificially through humanitarian service to others. So as an example, do you remember who won last year? Uh, you put me on I know, the spot. I know, I'm <laughs> reaching back, right? Well, you, you mentioned last year's speaker, so just to give a snapshot of, last year was the first event that That's you correct. did this. Um, who was last year's speaker once again? Peanut Tillman from the former Chicago Bears All-Star Pro Bowler. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. Did people enjoy the, the Absolutely. The talk? Yeah, he, he, Peanut is a, is a good guy, and he came, and he was very engaging, and, and that went over very well. Awesome. So we're hoping the same thing for Mitchell. Yeah, so you have the, um, I'm assuming that um, food is first, and then the awards, and then the speaker. Yes, yes. Is that kind of the flow right, of the night? Right. night? Um, doors open at 6 o'clock, and event starts at 6.30. Anyone can get tickets or just? Yeah, you know, anybody. It's open okay. to anybody. Uh, $50 per ticket. Okay. Uh, you can get those through the Journal Star. If you have questions on that, uh, I'll put her on the line. Katie McManus. Yeah. Uh, K McManus, K-M-C-M-A-N-I-S at PJStar.com can handle your questions awesome. and uh, ticket information. And a really quick link, if you go to PeoriaCivicCenter.com, we have a link that goes back there to you go. your website to buy tickets. So I believe you can buy tickets right online as well. That's so, correct. Right. So, yeah, that's always an easy an easy spot. Everything okay. we talk about today, you can find more information at the PeoriaCivicCenter.com. So, um, okay, so what else about the banquet do we need to know about? Well, we will have several hundred athletes there. Like I said, all of the all-stars oh. for every sport from fall, winter, spring sports, we are still naming the baseball team at this point. Oh, okay. Because we, at this, as we talk, Morton High School is playing for the uh, state championships oh. this weekend. They're in the state semifinals oh, up in Joliet. Awesome. They're the last team standing of any for the, from this year. 
Uh, the rest of the teams and athletes have been chosen. Not everybody's been notified yet. They'll okay, be rolling. I was going to ask if yeah, people knew. Okay. The spring sports ones will be rolling out in the paper beginning next week. Okay. Uh, we'll have uh, the, the tennis stars and, and POI. Uh, the girls and boys track athletes of the year and, and the stars of track and then the following week uh, girls soccer softball and baseball followed the following week by the banquet okay. in addition this year we are adding with the banquet we have uh, are inviting every team that won a state championship oh. over the past school year uh, they will be recognized at the banquet uh, oh. the gala as yeah. well yeah. as uh, as well as the the individuals who uh, won all state medals in individual competition mm -hmm. at the uh, sports that that do that, such as uh, track and field, cross country, wrestling, swimming, and so forth. But so the athletes that are say basketball and volleyball, like mm -hmm. they already know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We we yeah. we named the the all of the fall sports. We named those, those in November and first of December and publish those in the paper. We did the same thing at the end of March with all of the winter sports, and now we'll be doing the spring sports. Hundreds of athletes, no Hundreds. small events no, here. No, no. Last year, I believe, we, uh, we honored more than 300 athletes wow. in total. This year, with, like I said, with bringing the, uh, the state tournament, the state championship teams mm -hmm. and the state medalists on board, we expect over 400 athletes. Wow. And then, you know, parents family and, and friends family, and friends, and coaches, uh, you know, teammates or, and, and friends and, and faculty from the schools and, yeah. and all those people are invited. And, and anybody who out. just wants to hear Mitch talk. And people who <laughs> want to hear Mitchell Trubisky. That's I, right. I, I say Mitch like he's my best friend, you know, like he's my neighbor or something. Yeah, you're a Packers they, fan. The, you're just, nice the, show. <laughs> the Bears quarterback, you know, <laughs> the big guy, right? That's right. <laughs> so give us a little history on Mitch, um, the quarterback. Well, and yeah, he was, he was their first round draft pick two years ago and he came in last season uh, with the notion that he would be on a learning curve and, and mm -hmm. start on the bench, which he did, but it did not take him long yeah. to get into the starting <laughs> lineup. Uh, yeah. And he established pretty quickly that he is in, certainly in, uh, in high, has the potential to be a very high level yeah. NFL quarterback. Uh, and I know that you know with the moves that the team has made in the off season that they are certainly hoping to you know, put better personnel around mm -hmm. him and strengthen the the possibilities for success, and they look at at, at Trubisky as as their answer to being competitive and, and getting back to a Super Bowl over the next few years. So a man they can build a team around. That's what I they're mean, hoping. Yes. Good, good deal. So what's the outlook outlook for this year with the Chicago Bears? 50-50? I, <laughs> I mean, are we going to be above that? You know. <laughs> I, you know, What's your prediction? It's, it's been down so long, it's hard. You know, it's hard. <laughs> hard to be helpful. <laughs> but you know, the NFL being the NFL, if you if you stay injury free mm -hmm. or That's large largely yeah. injury free, and particularly if Trubisky stays injury free, yes. then yeah, they've got a chance to to get at least back to that 500 mark. And and once you get to that, one or two more games can make a difference. Exactly. And there. So. <laughs> You come yeah, to the, the wild card race. I think they should you know. be much better than they've been for a while. Well, good. Good deal. I mean, you know, for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not my team. I'm just reporting. Are you, are you a Bears them, fan? I'm, uh, I'm just, I, I'm just kind table. of a football Oh, football person, in general? Yeah. So. Really? How do you not have one team? Well. How does that happen? I don't know. I grew up it in Wisconsin. Happens. I don't know. I, I really don't understand. <laughs> I'm a journalist for one oh, thing. Okay. I can't, oh, you're being unbiased, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Good, good. All right. Well, we look forward to having this event at the Civic Center. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to come and My pleasure. tell us a little bit more about it in depth. So. The Central Illinois uh, Preps will be coming to the Peoria Civic Center on Monday, June 25th. You can get your tickets for it, um, whether you're being honored as an athlete or a parent of an athlete or anybody who's just interested in coming and watching the sports as well as seeing a great presentation from the speaker. Um, head on over to PeoriaCivicCenter.com. All the information about the event is there as well as a link to get tickets. Um, like you said, tickets are $50. And I believe the deadline to buy tickets is June 15th. So you want to look at your calendar and make plans here within the next week or so. Um, there, there, It should be a full ballroom at the Peoria Civic Center. So come on down and have a great evening honoring our high, local high school athletes. So moving on to the other side of our building, the entertainment side. Well, concert season is kicking up outside. 
The Peoria Civic Center Entertainment Team is busy scheduling a great fall and beyond for you inside. Here today to talk with me is Stephen Hepler, who is the box office manager at the Peoria Civic Center. Thanks for having me. Welcome, Stephen. It. Yeah. So it's been a busy week this week. Yes, we've I, had two, two, big, two big, big announcements, announcements in the arena. It. So, yes. so tell us what they are in case somebody hasn't yes, heard. So yet. on Monday we announced uh, Godsmack and Shine Down, and those tickets are going on sale Friday. The pre-sale is actually beginning here very shortly. Awesome. Uh, so you should have received that code, uh, but that will be taking place September 30th. Okay. And that's um, in the arena, of That is course. in the arena, yeah. We'll be if full somebody, arena set up there. If uh, somebody doesn't know, Godsmack is what type of music? It's a, it's a rock, heavy rock, metal uh, type of band, or bo both are. Both. Yes. So, so if you listen to what radio station you want 105.7 like 105.7. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that, this is their fall frenzy, okay. uh, is what they're tagging that. Uh, so they're a partner with us on that. Awesome. And uh, we're looking forward to a, a, a major concert there, end of September, okay. kind of kick off our you know, fall season of, of events. So it'll be, that, that'll be, are you expecting a sellout show or at yes. least a really large crowd? Yes, if if not a sellout, it'll be, yeah, a very, So if very they want to go and get your tickets ahead of time, about their tickets. either the pre-sale, which may be going on now, it, okay. it starts at 10 o'clock, so okay. uh, yeah, get, get those pre-sale tickets or stop down at the box office. Uh, starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. and you know our staff can help you out and get tickets. Awesome. So now you say pre-sale. What, yes. what does that mean? We have a PCC Insider uh, VIP list, so it's free to join. You can go to our website and, and sign up, okay. and you will be given notifications of when shows are booked, oh. and then also free passwords that you can use to purchase tickets online ahead so of time before purchase. the really? on sale. Yes. And it's free to join? Yes, absolutely free to join. Go to our uh, website across the top, am it's I up On the top right corner, okay. I believe it says PCC Insider or PCC VIP. And you can click on that and sign up, register your email, and sign up get those and be blocks. in the know. Yes, and get absolutely. tickets first. Yes. Everyone wants that, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Best, yeah. best tickets. <laughs> All right. But if you didn't get on that list, so what if they signed up? Well, today could they still get that? Code it today? probably would not. Uh, if you reach out to our marketing department, show. to customer service, they can they can provide you with that. Oh. But yeah. Okay. For the next show, for the next uh, show, for the one we announced on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so what you announced Tuesday? Then? Leonard Skinner. So nice. that will be another full arena setup, uh, a large crowd. This is their farewell tour. Okay. Uh, so they will be uh, in the arena November 3rd, which okay. is a Saturday. Ooh. Uh, but those tickets will go on sale next week. Okay. So if you want to get on that pre-sale VIP list. Sign up now. Sign up now. You'll get that code probably early next week, um, and those will start Wednesday. Okay. Um, but Wednesday and Thursday will be the pre-sale period for our list, and then the on-sale Friday morning at 10 a.m., uh, for Leonard Skinner. Awesome. Do we have, um, you know, step back, Godsmack too, do we have an opener for either one? The uh, Leonard Skinner does have a Marshall Tucker band. Oh, yeah. So they will be the opener. The Godsmack Shine Down is still in the works. Uh, there was somebody announced, but there's a scheduling conflict. Okay. So they're working around that. Uh, so, so to be announced yes, on that one. That okay. one is to be announced. And there will be another opener for Leonard Skinner, but Marshall Tucker Band is, is confirmed. Hey, they're pretty good. Yeah. They're, I, they're I, all right. yeah. I saw them <laughs> oh, dating myself back at Summerfest in Milwaukee mm -hmm. when I was like 20. It was awesome. years. Yeah. I, I, won't say the, there, I won't yeah. say the year, but yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I, I know them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're, so Leonard Skinner, of course, is more like 80s rock, wasn't it? Yes. Was it 80s? Yeah, yeah. like okay. Southern rock type. Yeah. type. Um, They're real fun, though. Yeah. Absolutely. It should be a, a great yeah. show. Uh, between those two uh, announcing, uh, we, we do also have Keith Urban. Uh, awesome. He's been on sale for a little while now, but in October. Uh, big he'll, show. Yes. Full arena be as a well. Full arena for that country market. Uh, that'll be a, a sellout. Uh, so if you don't have your tickets for that, that's something you should definitely look into getting. Uh, what what a time. great arrangement you have. I mean, just the variety. You've got the, uh, you know, more hard rock, I don't, yeah. you know, yeah. and then more my kind of rock yeah. <laughs> and then country. I great. mean, what a great across the spectrum of yes. all the genres. And that's what we try to hit, you know, a little bit for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with your family shows that we've announced, your Christian market. We've yeah. had a, a few shows announced and on sale lately. Uh, Monday, we have three more theater shows that are announcing. Oh, wow. Uh, and we'll go on sale next Friday as well. Uh, but those three are all different, different uh, demographics and genres that 
you know, will kind of appeal to the masses. So. so three more shows coming next week. Announcements. Yes, announcements. Announcements and on sale next Friday, next too. Next Friday, yes. So, so we'll have four shows are on Fridays sale Are Fridays like Friday. your big, on, uh, like, tickets go on sale date? Yes. Okay. Yeah, predominantly the, the Friday mornings, 10 a.m. Um, we will have one show just to break it up a little bit that will go on sale at noon okay. next Friday. Um, but all that information will get announced on Monday, awesome. and you'll get to know a little more about those shows. Oh, how fun. So yes. next, so if you're not interested yet in Godsmack, Leonard Skinner, or Keith Urban, watch next week and we'll have three more shows yes. in, the, in the theater. In the theater. In yes, the theater. all three so, of these will be yeah. in the theater. Yep. So um, tell me a little bit, I mean, obviously you have um, lots of different areas to book. You've got the arena, which are the big name shows, and then you have the theater. You probably approach each venue a little bit differently because sure. The, the arena seats how many people? Uh, can, you know, our, our full arena for the shows that we've announced, roughly 85 to 9,000. Okay. Um, we can go up to, you know, in our basketball setup, uh, we're roughly 12,000. Okay. Um, so concert-wise, obviously, behind the stage isn't usually sat for right. for the public, um, unless you're at the Eric Church with open backing. I was going to say. Yeah, so we, we have had a, a few shows that have used the seats behind the stage, um, but mainly it's around 9,000 for okay. the arena. So 9,000 would be a sellout for these shows? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the theater, of course, it's a smaller venue, a little bit more intimate. Um, how many can you seat now? 2,200. 2,200. Um, but okay. those seats, like you said, they're they're more intimate, so they're oh, not a so bad comfy. seat in the house. Like <laughs> we were walking around with our, our Lion King preview event on Monday, and we went up to the second balcony just to to show them, you know, how the worst seats in the theater look, and they're yeah. still. I, I, it, you can't beat it even up in the, the second balcony. I got to tell you, my favorite seat in the theater is the first balcony. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Yeah. I, maybe it's because I'm short. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was going to say, you don't have to look over people like me. I really yeah. like being high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's my favorite seat. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what else do we need to know, you know, for somebody um, who's not familiar with the booking side, but they love the concerts? Mm -hmm. You must get a ton of requests of people like, Hey, my favorite artist is this. Can you yeah. get him in? You should bring you two here yeah, or, or, or somebody like that. Know, yeah. Like Which, Taylor Swift. Can yes. you get her? You know? So yeah. tell us a little bit about the background of how how you pick shows um, and, and ultimately book them and bring them to Peoria. Yeah, we work closely with probably you know, 10 or so promoters. Um, okay. There are a, a, a lot more that we do deal with, but those we have really good relationships mm -hmm. that we've built and we work with that shows will pop up that they get on their radar and they you know, approach us, like, does this make right. sense in Peoria? And at that point, we'll look at our calendar to see. It's kind of a puzzle, mm -hmm. you know, getting everything situated with Riverman and Bradley schedules sure. and seeing what else is going on because um, you don't want to oversaturate the market with right. multiple shows back to back. But we'll look at our calendar, see if it works, and then get holds in place so that we can move forward with looking at ticket prices and expenses to see if it actually does make sense to right. either bring to the arena or the theater um, and, and then go from there. Wow. Um, but then we, with the uh, same kind of vice versa, if we get word of a show uh, coming or if they've announced, you know, like a fall tour and we're looking mm -hmm. to possibly Fill bring them in. here in the spring okay. or, or yes, even in routing because we're kind of central between Chicago, St. Louis, mm -hmm. Indianapolis, it, it could work out that we may fill a date for those, those fall tours. Uh, we'll approach a promoter that we have a relationship with and see if you know it's possible and kind mm -hmm. of go from there. So somebody outside the business, when you say promoter, a yes. promoter handles all the booking for the shows? Yes. For the concerts? Yes. They so they work, work with directly with the agents, so the, the show managers, um, and they're kind of the middleman between the actual tour and the venues. Okay. Yes. Complicated process, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so how long does it take, you know, from start to finish to, to book a show? It can be it can be quick. Uh, one of the shows that we're announcing Monday moved very quickly, which it probably took two weeks to do. Oh wow! Um, others, you know, like with Keith Urban, we've been on sale since you know February. Yeah. Um, and we had holds in place for a few months before then, so it could be up to a year, uh, if not more than you know for Broadway shows, um, but anywhere yeah. between roughly a month to yeah, anywhere a year. Quite a busy business yes. it is, just the entertainment <laughs> side <laughs> yes. of the Civic Center. Sure. And now tell me, um, as far as at the Civic Center, um, you're obviously the box office manager and handle yes. all the ticket side of it um, and some of the research, I think, yes. right? Um, so tell me how, it's not just you picking the shows, though. There's a whole team at yeah. the Civic Center. Yes, yeah. so it, which is nice. We have different uh, backgrounds. So mm -hmm. we have a few members that have kids, and they know more about the, the kids' shows. show than yeah. I obviously do. <laughs> yeah. um, but then we have, I, I'm a country fan. 
band, so I know that market a little more mm -hmm. than, say, your rock. Mm -hmm. um, we've got other members that are into like the indie folk okay. ty type of music. Um, so we have a, a good team that we research these events. We have meetings every week. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll research them from you know, our, our SMG managing partner that mm -hmm. will give us some shows to, to kind of look at, see what makes sense, and kind of get a consensus of whether it makes sense or not. Yeah, whether it, you know, it's worthwhile bringing it to Peoria, yes. right? Yeah, yeah right. So. Awesome. Um, well, I know um, lately some of the other shows you, um, you, you've you booked, which were really interesting, is the contemporary Christian market yep. has been really popular in the last couple of years. Yes. Um, so you booked three new shows. Tell us about them. Yes, we, we've always seen success with Winter Jam, <laughs> obviously, and that's been a kind of yeah. a mainstay, but we've moved into getting more of that genre into the building. Um, we had sold out Mercy Me last year. Fabulous. And al along yeah. that, we, we booked three shows. Um, we have Lauren Daigle okay. will be here in July 21st. Mm -hmm. um, that's already on sale. It's been on sale for a little while, but there are seats still available. Okay. Um, we did announce uh, just recently Danny Goki, who got his start in American Idol. I remember that. Yes. <laughs> Those so, are the days I still watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, with the reboot now. But yes, I know. <laughs> back, back when he was on uh, American Idol, uh, I'm not sure how he placed, but that's where he got his start. Yeah. Um, and this is his first headlining tour which we are the, the first stop for it. So we'll be kicking off that tour, oh, wow. uh, which is kind of exciting for us and exciting for him, uh, just kind of going out with you know, him being the headlining bill there. Uh, yeah. So we'll be his first yes. headline show. We'll be his first, first headline one. show in the theater oh, uh, in September. And then we've also announced Elevation Worship, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a group uh, that's out of a church, I believe uh, it's, it's in the South, I think it's Georgia or okay. North Carolina, um, one of the two. Either but, one of those. Yeah. Yes, it, it's <laughs> down in the South, um, but they, they will be up here October 20th. Okay. And they um, are yeah, great music great as well. Music. Yes. Yeah. Wow, so three really big names in in the contemporary Christian yes. market. If you're yeah. if you follow that, so. yeah, absolutely. Well, great. Yeah. Sounds like you guys are just busy and doing a great job. Yes, getting... we're we're working on the fall and into yeah. the spring now to to book our you know the concert season is slowing down as far as what's going on right now during right. the summer. Um, but yeah, we're we're working to yeah. to fill some dates and so get some shows in for this. Fall it is spring. very it is very seasonal as far as the civic center's business. It's you kind of stay away from the summer for the most yeah, part. Yeah, most most people want to go outside. Yeah. Uh, the, the concerts are, are doing the festivals outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, people are traveling for for summer break and, and most vacations. artists play outside shows during the yes. concert anyway, right? Or yeah. during the summer. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But well, it sounds like we have a great fall lined up. Yes. So congratulations to yes. you and your team on landing some really big titles for Peoria. So thank you. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are so, as well. Thanks for stopping by and giving us a little update on the show business at the Peoria Civic Center. So you know where to be this fall. Well, actually, Lauren Daigle is July 21st, so there is one summer show. But other than that, really exciting um, fall lineup of entertainment at the Peoria Civic Center. Uh, got a whole team working over there. Of course, they're always taking suggestions. So if you got an artist that you think would work in Peoria, um, they'll be happy to look into it as well. Um, just going to run down a quick rundown as we wrap up other events that are happening or coming to the Peoria Civic Center. Um, in the, as Stephen mentioned, the family and kids genre, um, we always got some shows for that um, coming in September. So kind of the beginning of the school year is Jurassic Quest. Now this isn't necessarily a show that happens in the arena or theater. This is in our exhibit halls. Um, you will find life-size dinosaurs that take up our entire exhibit halls. It's a really impressive um, display. Um, but they got a lot of interactive, fun games for the kids to do. Uh, last year was their first year that was here, and they just had a great showing. They love Peoria so much that they are coming back. So it's three days long, September 28th, 29th, and 30th. That's a Friday through a Sunday. So mark your calendar now. Um, those tickets, we don't sell at the box office. Those are strictly through Jurassic Quest. But if you go to the civiccenter.com, um, PeoriaCivicCenter.com website, there is a link to the Jurassic Quest um, website that you can buy those tickets. Of course, you can always just Google Jurassic Quest Peoria and you'll find it as well. Um, also, this fall coming up in October is Disney Junior Dance Party. I know when my kids were little, that would have been a real hit. So um, that is coming October 19th. That will be in our theater at the Peoria Civic Center. So check it out if you've got some little ones that would enjoy that. Um, coming in November, another kids show, Wild Kratz. Uh, that is November 12th. 
can come on to the theater and see that as well. Again, tickets are available at the box office or at PeoriaCivicCenter.com. And then December, a great, great, great Christmas present if you want to start planning those. I know some people shop ahead of time. Um, during Christmas break this year, December 28th through the 30th, I couldn't think of better dates to have this, is Disney on Ice. And it is the Frozen theme this year. So that would be a really fun show to bring the family, um, you know, when it's cold out and you're on, on winter break, you never know what to do that week. So this will be a really good option to do. Um, and then kind of other entertainment. So those are kind of good things for the family and kids to do. And other entertainment is WWE Live is coming to the arena on June 15th. So that's right around the corner here. Um, I guess that could be a family show. Some of, some of the older kids like that. Um, but wrestling names, come on down to the arena. Uh, tickets are starting at just $15 for that. So you'll want to um, get tickets to that. Uh, finishing up our summer, uh, St. Jude Telethon will be in the Peoria Civic Center exhibit halls on August the 4th. That's an annual event. We always love having them there. All the runners come from throughout the Midwest, running in from Chicago and St. Louis and more, most importantly Memphis. Um, they all come in and they all come together at the Peoria Civic Center. They run into the building and then that kicks off the St. Jude Telethon that we host inside of our exhibit halls. So it's a really exciting night. Um, goes until about midnight. That is of course um, broadcast on WEEK as well. So. Um, Ignite Peoria for the art fans out there. This is a great family event also. Um, August 11th, it's a Saturday, all day Saturday. Take, uh, takes up our exhibit halls. You'll see lots of um, hands-on activities for the kids. Everything from art to dance. Um, just a lot of opportunities uh, for the kids to have a good time there. It is free admission as well as free parking. So that's, a, that's an easy decision for something to do on a Saturday. Uh, looking at fall, we also have Jason Isbell in the theater, and that is September 13th. And then for the for the boys or anybody who likes action, Monster Jam is back in the arena October 19th and 20th. So put that on your calendar. And then, of course, um, we Stephen mentioned the Lion King preview that we had this week. Uh, Lion King is the show that kicks off our Ameren, Illinois Broadway series this year. And when I say kick it off, I mean kicks it off big. We have 15 shows of Lion King running from October 2nd to the 13th. Now, this show was said to be the number one musical in the world. Um, just rave reviews on it. We got a preview for our VIPs on Monday, and I'll tell you, it looks amazing. So get your tickets now. Um, season ticket renewals are happening right now. New season tickets will go on sale June 18th. Um, you'll also be able to do group sales, and then individual tickets will roll out specifically for The Lion King. That date is August 13th, so mark your calendars. Uh, Lion King's going to be a really great um, show, and there'll be lots of different dates to pick from. Um, I know there's some matinees in there, there's some evening shows, so really it's, um, there's something for everyone. Uh, following The Lion King as part of the Broadway series, we'll have Stomp in November. Finding Neverland, which is the kind of the Peter Pan story in February, and then Rent um, will be in April. So a really exciting show. Um, as Stephen mentioned, just it, working hard at the Peoria Civic Center to bring the best entertainment to Peoria. So we hope to see you down at the Peoria Civic, Civic Center this summer as well as this fall. Um, and for any questions or more details on any of the events we discussed, always go to PeoriaCivicCenter.com. That is your source. We have links to everything that we talked about and tickets, um, Ticketmaster, as well as the box office is always, help, is always helpful in setting you up with your tickets. So until next month, that's the rundown of what's happening at the Peoria Civic Center. We'll see you downtown. PeoriaLife.com.